Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks, and I couldn't resist making this video today because fairly recently in this game I had my best ever round of World of Tanks, at least with regards to damage done. Now, quick spoiler, it's not going to be the best ever amount of damage in World of Tanks, period, because I am nowhere near that good, but for me this was my personal record, and what better tank to do it in? than the mighty E100, which is a bit strange because the E100 has never really found its place in World of Tanks. It's always kind of struggled because the armour was a bit inconsistent and the gun has always been underperforming because of the bad accuracy and very poor penetration. It has been buffed over the years and it is better, but in the right match and matchup, then you can really have some magic and there you go 732 damage is no joke especially when half the enemy team are tier 8 so uh, we have a real feast for our hands um, so let's just see how much we can do and that's another thing for some reason the enemy team just didn't seem to be that aware of what was going on they just kind of sat there <laughs> and let these giant shells come flying their way and you'll see what I mean in a moment when as this battle unfolds look I mean what is this Ferdinand trying to do I mean they're you know they're taking their pokey shots but Ferdinand's quite strong at tier 8 tier 10 it's not such a big threat what the actual f was that yes still gotta have the lovely mighty jingles crew commander I absolutely love that voice mod it's fantastic but look what, what's this guy think he's doing yeah, I, I, like what? What was he thinking? So we're not too far into this battle, and we've already uh, done over two thousand damage, and it's kind of turning to a bit of a mess of a battle here. Picks up our first kill. Uh, yeah, this gun doesn't reload too quickly, but when it hits and when it does damage. Oh man, is it satisfying. And look at that, the armor still works, bouncing a heat round from the uh, BZ75 there. Uh, ironically, not bouncing the AP round from the Tier 8 Heavy, though. Alright, we're going to need this Patriot's help if we are to take these two down. It's a Tier 10 and a Tier 8 versus a Tier 8 and a Tier 10. Oh, he's just fired. Can we get the shot? Yes, we can. 831 damage. Oh, I love this thing. I mean, when it wants to work. If you just get heat spammed, then it's not so fun. But, um, you know, it can be incredibly fun. And this is that game. And that Patriot did great work, um, basically distracting and doing damage. Oh, dear. Looks like someone didn't bring a fire extinguisher. If only that Patriot let me have that kill. That fire was definitely going to kill him. But alright, fine. I guess uh, it's, uh, we'll let him have it as he was pretty helpful dealing with that BZ-75. And we're already up to 4,400 damage in the first uh, 3 minutes and 20 seconds of the game. So it's going well so far. But there's still a fair chunk of enemy to deal with. So we'll just have to see if we can get this big old gun singing for a little while longer. And this is where the mobility of the E100 actually comes in handy. It's definitely not a fast tank, but it's faster than the mouse, and that's one of the key differences between the two. But, like, yeah, that's another example of, you know, fairly slow reaction time of the enemy team. Like, what? Just sit there, you know? Why? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll, I'll take this, but... And he's going to do it again. What's he doing? All right, fine. Don't mind if I do. Can we get some more though? And oh dear, looks like some of these guys haven't quite processed what's going on. We're gonna go for the one with the more health, and that's the 4005. Yep. Yeah. Kill number three. Can we get a fourth kill? Maybe. We'll see. We're already up to 6,400 damage. Now, my previous record was 7,100. And we've just beaten this. And I had that record of 7,100 for about five years. I did it on console in the Chieftain way back when that game was fun. 
Um, and I've never been able to beat it. But there's only one guy left. There we go. The last two enemies get shut down at the same time. And there you have it. 7,395 damage. That is my all-time record for damage done here in World of Tanks. And it's in a tank I only got recently, but a tank almost as old as the game itself. So yes, that was actually an ace tanker. I think it was my first ace tanker in the E100. Uh, picking up a load of credits and XP with a whole bunch of ribbons and awards here. And obviously the high caliber for the 7,000, nearly 7,400 damage we did. And yes, that did put me top of the team by a fairly significant margin with regards to the uh, damage we were able to do there. Yeah, more than, well, about the same as the next three people combined, maybe a bit more so. So that's pretty crazy. And yeah, 7,400 damage, 1,600 blocked. Not a bad run. And for a gun that isn't really great, it's probably one of the weaker tier 10 heavy tank guns. We did manage to hit all 12 of our shells, uh, despite it having not the best accuracy or aiming time, and despite having fairly poor penetration for a tier 10, 11 out of those 12 hits actually penetrated and did damage. So there you go, that kind of showed, showcased the highlights of the E100 in its entirety, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video because that was my best ever game in World of Tanks. And so, yeah, if you like that, do hit the like button, comment down below what you think of the E100 and what your highest damage was able was ever in the game. What is your record? Probably a lot higher than mine, but there you go. And obviously subscribe for more epic content, and I'll catch you in the next video.